So today is the day. That was what I saw when I read the announcement uh, that was posted. Today is the day. What is today? Today is the ribbon cutting for Gritter's Library, right? Right. If you're not, if, if that's not what you came here for, uh, we'll give you a couple minutes to leave, but I hope you all stay. But that's what we're here for. My job was to welcome you, and that's to say, welcome. And I think you have all, uh, I hope you feel welcome. I, I see a lot of smiling faces. There are a lot behind me. So I want to say enjoy, learn, and make sure if you have not toured this building before you leave, please do so. It is absolutely beautiful. That was my task, and I am the tour guide again. Uh, I will sit down shortly, but I will give you a couple of names. People will come up. And you know, most people like for you to clap and say, you know, encourage them while they're up here talking. So let's practice that. What are you going to do when the next person comes up? <laughs> That's kind of weak, but OK, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> OK, so the first person that we'll have up is our um, chairwoman uh, for the county. Chairwoman Lisa Cupid. Yes, thank you. Are you ready? Today is a significant milestone for this community, and I know that there's no one here more excited than our District 3 Commissioner, Joanne Burrell. Can we give a round of applause to our number one advocate? Let's also give a round of applause for whoever said, let's do this ribbon cutting inside versus outside. I was not prepared for this burst of Arctic cold today. But I'm certainly glad to join you with our commissioners who are here today, with our leadership of the libraries, our trustees who I see out in the audience, our community partners, um, Cobb Works who is here today, and most importantly to our citizens that really are the life and blood of this community. Thank you for all of your efforts for us to arrive to this long-awaited opening of Gritter's Library. The state of the art facility is more than just a repository of books. It is a place of learning, it is a place of growth, and with that, it's a place of opportunity. And a lot of what buttresses that is our partnership with Cobb Works. We are going to have a workforce development site located right here where we get to bridge education with employment opportunity, which is very important as our economy continues to grow, to know that we have a community that can grow right alongside of it. And we thank you for this partnership and this vision to decentralize our workforce development services here within the county. To the residents of Cobb County, I wanna thank you for allowing us to make this investment. This investment is a direct investment in your future. We are proud to provide resources here, again, that foster learning, but they also facilitate mobility. And what I love about libraries is that it fosters fellowship with our neighbors. And so I'm excited to celebrate this day with you. I look forward to us connecting, and I'm excited about us cutting the ribbon on what will be continuing transformation in this facility for this community for many years to come. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful than this? Um, I hope I can get through this without too much emotion, but this has been a long time coming, and today is the day. As you all said, yes indeed, today is the day, a very special day. Um, first, I would like to welcome everyone here. I know this is a big crowd, because I've advertised this to the world. <laughs> In my newsletter, in Cobline, and everywhere, just because it's so exciting. This was actually a 2016 SPLOS project. And we finished the 2016 SPLOS, now we're on the 2022 SPLOS, and finally Gritters is here. 
the original Gritters did open in 1973, so that's 51 years it served this community, little tiny Gritters. And it was a 2016 SPLOSS project, um, and it took a while to get it done, but we're finally here. This is uh, an asset, a community asset for this whole area, and really all of Cobb because of the partnerships we have invested here. As we tour and explore Gritters today, it's amazing how our imagination is greatly inspired by the many, many ways Gritters will have a positive impact for residents, schools, businesses, faith communities, people of all ages and backgrounds. It's a center for promoting early literacy from birth to career. The Gritters Library staff are champions for education, family engagement, and wellness, and organizing library programs and partnerships for the entire community. Think about this, with only a three mile radius of here, there are eight elementary schools, three middle schools, and two high schools. Facilities of Kennesaw State University, and Chattahoochee Technical College are also nearby. And business owners along Canton Road, Piedmont Road, Sandy Plains, all other commercial corridors will soon discover that this new library as well as Cobb Works, Cobb Parks, and Northeast Cobb Community Center space here as a value, valuable community resource for all to enjoy. This library, now much bigger and brighter than before, is a great community asset, all right here alongside Shaw Park. I would be remiss if I didn't thank all of those who were involved in getting us to this day. Helen Poyer and her staff. <clears throat> Dr. Jatan Gibson, Dr. Jackie McMorris, our state legislators who helped us in funding a couple of times <laughs> for Gritters and other libraries, GPLS, Georgia Public Library Services at the state who helped us with funding. Um, and this wouldn't have been possible because the, the dollars kept going up to create this beautiful space. So thank you, I know Nate's behind me. Um, and of course, Michael Brantley, Parks and Rec, who added the community space that's part of the Shaw Park renovation for 22 Splots down below us. And we'll be touring that later too, but thank you, Michael. He's so generous to all the departments. <laughs> and I'm, I'm deep, and, oh gosh, property management, Levon. Levon, thank you. Levon's a project manager. Next stop, Precinct 6. <laughs> okay, and I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> I'm deeply thankful for everyone involved in getting us to this day and for all the heavy lifting and creative thinking you put into this project, this very meaningful, dynamic asset for our community that we care about and love. Thank you all. God bless you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much, and again, welcome. Thank you for being here today. This means a lot to all of us here at the county to see you all here, so thank you. Today, our hearts are filled with gratitude for everyone engaged in making this wonderful, wonderful facility possible. Today, we celebrate our profoundly positive common vision, a vision of community and connectedness. The library that was previously on this ground, this spot, opened as been previously stated in November of 1973. It was designed to serve a community of approximately 25,000 people. Gritters today serves a growing community of approximately 65,000 people who live within a three mile radius of the library and Shaw Park. The design of Gritters is 
uh, is encompassed more and more based on what we think is important that exists beyond planning and the architecture and the construction of a facility. It truly is about community and connecting neighbors to neighbors. Gritter's Library is designed to serve as that community connector. It is truly a special place. It is steeped in a vision focused on lifelong learning, health and wellness, workforce development, expanding job skills, civic engagement, and deeply collaborative community partnerships. Our staff are steady and resolute in being focused on the future, focused on creating opportunities for neighbors to meet and connect with each other. This room and the community center is a vital part of this library. We announced today's special event about a month ago. We opened the library to the public for the first time a week ago. We know from visitors and information on social media that the word is spreading about this beautiful library and that our neighbors are thrilled that we are here today as an opportunity for them to discover this special place, a community. As public servants, our staff, everything that we have to offer, we are one. And we're excited to be a part of that with you. Cobb County's core values consist of commitment, diversity, integrity, and teamwork. This beautiful library embodies and embraces those core values. We move with a purpose. We move with a common vision, fueled by commitment, diversity, integrity, and teamwork. Cobb County Library's public system here has a vision focused on those core values, and we hope that you too will embrace those core values. So today, I say congratulations to Helen, her team, the community here, and we celebrate with you today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here on behalf of my boss, who is the state librarian, Julie Walker. And I just want to say, welcome. It's my honor to stand before you today as we celebrate the grand opening of the Gritters Library, a vibrant new chapter in your community's journey for knowledge, learning, and connection. Libraries have al always been more than just a place for books. They're hubs of opportunity, creativity, and growth. The Gritters Library will serve as a cornerstone for Marietta providing not only access to information and technology, but also offering programs that inspire, educate, and unite us. This new facility is a testament of the vision of, and hard work of many people who understand that a strong library is the heart of a thriving community. Whether you're here to explore new ideas, to access resources for personal or professional growth, to enjoy the vibrant community space, the Gritters Library is a place where every person, young and old, will find something that ignites their passion. I would like for you all to thank everyone who made this moment possible, from your state legislators and county and city leaders, to the dedicated library staff and volunteers, to the community members who believe in the power of libraries to shape a brighter future. Today marks the beginning of something truly special. And someone mentioned something about this, the, 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 I'm ad-libbing now, so. <laughs> mentioned something about our state legislator. I've been here 19 years. The state legislator has given us well over $100 million for public libraries. <laughs> so thank you for being here to celebrate this exciting new chapter in Marietta's story. Welcome. You have to excuse me, I've been a little bit under the weather, but I certainly was not going to miss today. I'm so excited to be here. And um, thank you all for coming out today to celebrate the grand opening of the Gritters Library and the Cobb Works Workforce Development Access Point, which is co-located right here at the Gritters Library. So let's give that a round of applause. You know, at Cobb Works, we truly believe that um, partnership is at the heart of the work that we do. And we believe that our collective impact is what makes us all very, very strong. And this partnership with the library was just a natural fit for us because as you understand, literacy, learning, education, they're the foundational pillars for workforce development. 
So together we've created a space where community members can access the education and the resources that they need to reach their full potential. I want to first extend my gratitude and my deepest um, happiness to my board of directors, many of which are here today. Um, their unwavering support of ensuring that all people have access to resources and services that they need are certainly the ones that make it possible for CopWorks to be present today. In addition to that, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude and respect for our Cobb County Commissioners and our Cobb County leadership, specifically Commissioner Burrell and Chairwoman Cupid for their insight in recognizing the needs of this particular community and responding to those needs in a meaningful and impactful way. The Workforce um, Development Access Point here at the Gritters Library will provide a wealth of resources and services from job search assistance, professional development, GED services, ESL, support for education and skills training to help individuals gain new insight and progress, them, advance, progress and advance them economically. I'm so incredibly proud, and I know my team that's here today, we're all incredibly proud of this partnership. And I can tell you right now that Cobb Works is 100% committed to supporting this effort and the economic vitality and economic mobility of all residents in the area and throughout Cobb County. We are working to bridge the gap between learning and employment, and we're investing in a brighter future for our community. So thank you again for your support, and I look forward to seeing the positive impact that this library is gonna have on this community. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, my name's Michael Brantley. I'm the director of Cobb County Parks. Uh, Representative Parsons, uh, they said $100 million to public libraries in the last few years. Uh, I want to call your office next week. We've got some <laughs> things to work on with Parks. Um, yeah, the uh, you know, we'll do whatever we can. We'll do whatever we can in Parks. Uh, also, Lee, uh, before you leave, check to make sure the electrical lines and the water lines are where they're supposed to be. I don't want to be paying for Helen's water or power bill. Okay? Just make sure of that. Okay. Uh, this, is our, this is our second uh, foray down this path of having a joint partnership and, and Helen and I have worked well with that. We also have uh, Sewell Mill Library and Cultural Center and then we got Gritters Library and the Northeast Cobb Community Center. Anybody that has uh, had a wedding event, a birthday party, what have you, community meeting in the old Northeast Cobb Community Center, uh, it was a little bit run down. It was a little bit in the back of the park. Uh, ADA accessibility was a, a little bit of an issue. Um, the downstairs now below Gritters Library is going to be a great location. We're going to see a lot more folks that are able to rent uh, an area for those type th to those type events. So we're very excited about it. Uh, again, I, I just want to say that from a standpoint from parks and, and libraries and public services, this is just a, a great uh, way to partner um, for the community and make sure that there's multiple opportunities for the community to come together. And so we're extremely happy about that. I did want to say um, thank you to Batson Cook as well for the construction uh, and the, the architecture, McMillan, uh, Paz and Smith, great job with the library and uh, the community center downstairs. So we're extremely excited for that. So uh, same thing, we'll be doing the, the Greer's Library walkthrough um, and we'll also have uh, downstairs be able to walk through and see the community center. So if you want to walk down the, the, the back path or the back staircase, the back staircase will be open. Yeah. Uh, but down the back staircase, you can see the community center, which is on the back of the building. So thank you all for coming out. We appreciate it. This is a great day, and, and we're here with such joy and pride celebrating this joint use facility with parks, cop for, workforce development, and, of course, Gritters Library. This milestone represents the dedication, hard work, collaboration of so many individuals who believed in this vision and made it a reality. So first and foremost, I extend our gratitude to our commissioners, uh, Chairwoman Cupid, Commissioner Gambrell, Sheffield, and let's see, Richardson, and of course, the champion of, of Gritters, Joanne Burrell. <laughs> and also our county manager, Dr. McMorris, Jatan, my boss, uh, she's a a great supporter of, of our efforts. And of course, Julie Walker, who couldn't be here, the state librarian, but Nate is here, and he's a great support to us in all our uh, projects. And our board of commissioners, our board of trustees, if you'll stand, I'm not gonna call out each name. <laughs> uh, 
our true advisors and, and guide us through everything. And then we have from our foundation, we have Mark Justice back there from Cobb EMC. Okay. So their unwavering support, generous funding and commitment to enriching our community through education, access to resources are truly commendable. And to our partners, Bats and Cook, the team uh, that uh, includes Jonathan Collard, Brian Doxey, John Hant, Hardy, and Braxton East, McMillan, Past, and Smith team of Chris Youngblood and Will Bryant, our property management team, and I know uh, Doug Hendricks couldn't be here today, we wish him well, and Sarah Logue. Their expertise and tireless efforts have transformed a dream, a vision into a beautifully realized space. And especially thanks to our citizens and our patrons whose support and patience, uh, enthusiasm have been invaluable. This library, this joint use facility belongs to all of us and it's your engagement that will keep it vibrant and alive for years to come. And lastly, I want to acknowledge our incredible Gritter staff, and I don't know if they're in the room, but under the leadership of Maria Benach and Mountain View Region Manager Deborah Jackson, our library administrative team, Terry Tresp, Sheila Jacobs, Jerome Vanderbilt and his team, Shelly Zhang and her technical operations team, Janice Gilpatrick, Tom Brooks, Sloan Williams, Dinah, who always makes this uh, a special event for our, for our library system. This facility, yeah, This facility is not just a building, it's a sanctuary for learning, growth, and recreation, a hub for community interaction. Together, we have created a space that will inspire generations to come. Three, two, one, go!